Hello everyone, today I will demonstrate how to reconfigure custom configuration for Postgres cluster using KeepDB. So first let's take a look at our Postgres YML. So here, uh, you can see that the API version has keepdb.com plan alpha 2, then the kind here is Postgres, then the name here is demo pg, the name is with demo, then you can see that in our spec, uh, spec section, the version here is 13.2, which is our Postgres version, then here, the replica ground here is 3, which means that we are going to create our Postgres cluster with 3 replica, then the standby mode here is hot, then you can see that the config secret for we are going to uh, support a custom config here. So that we have provided the custom config uh, name here, PG configuration. Then the storage type here is durable. Then the, here is the, our storage configuration. Then the mesh policy is to wipe out. That means when we're going to create, uh, delete the Postgres uh, instance, then it, it will delete all the resources that has been created for, with it, like uh, secret PVC RDs. So uh, before deploying this one, we need to create a uh, secret. Uh, name PG configuration as we have provided this one here. So we are going to create this secret with this files uh, information like the max connection here value is 300 and the shared purpose is 256 MB. So we're going to create a secret with this uh, this user.com file. So let's just create this uh, secret first. So here you can see that we have Create, we are going to create a secret here. So we have created a secret uh, named PG configuration. Now we can deploy this uh, 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 demo PG YML. So we have just created here demo PG YML. Then you can see that uh, the ports are coming up now. You can see that demo PG 0 and demo PG 1 has been already up and running. Now it's uh, uh, running demo PG 2 also. So but you can see that the status here is provisioning. So let's just wait for this just to be ready. As you can see that the status here is uh, ready of this Postgres instance. So you can use this uh, cluster now for uh, any kind of database connection. So let's just uh, exit into one of our board and uh, uh, try to connect out the database. Then you can see that we have connected here. So let's just check the configuration value for max connections. You can see that the value here is 300, which actually the which is actually for the user dot com files max function value, and you can also check the shared buffer value here. You can see that the shared buffer value is 256. So we can say that we have uh, uh, we have properly set up the, our custom configuration. Now with our ops request, uh, Postgres ops request, we are going to update these values for uh, update these values of custom configuration. So let's just uh, take it from here. Now, take a look at our update custom config YML. So you can see that uh, here the IP version is ops.keep2.com on alpha one, then here is the kind version postgres ops request. Then the metadata here is pgd config and the name is process demo and in your expect spec section you can see that the time here is uh, the type here is reconfigure that means uh, we are going to reconfigure our custom configuration then the database reference where we are going to which database we are going to change here so we have provided the name here demo pg as the uh, metadata name of this our postgres cluster then in our, in our configuration section, you can see that we have provided an inline configuration that we are going, we need to update these two values. So from our inline custom configuration, these two values are going to be updated. So let's just deploy this one. So you can see that we have created our obstacles successfully. Now let's just wait for, uh, you can see here that the gate, uh, uh, the serial gate postgres obstacles uh, output here is uh, PG reconfigure, reconfigure, the status here is focusing. So let's just wait for the status to be uh, successful. You can see that uh, one by one, the ports uh, configuration are changing here with, from the operator. You can see that first uh, it has been terminated demo PG0, then it's going to be restart with new configurations and uh, it's going to be happen for all the uh, ports here. 
so let's just wait for uh, all the ports to be upgraded with uh, updated uh, with the new conf configuration values so let's just wait for the status here to be successful Can see that all the ports here has been uh, uh, terminated and restarted successfully, and also you can see that the reconfigure of request has been uh, successful as for uh, we are getting this status successful. And now let's uh, all check the um, uh, port and uh, see if the conversion has been updated or not now we have already exited into a port and now let's connect to our db now let's query our max connections so you can see that the our max connection value has been updated like uh, it was earlier 300 and now it is, it is 200 and also you can check the shared of first value So you can see that the value is 300 MB and it was earlier 200, uh, 256 MB. So you can say that we have successfully uh, done our uh, reconfigure of request. So that's all from my side. Thank you.